Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's up? I'm pretty tired. Pretty tired. Um, normally I have like an inspired idea or reason, something I'm gonna talk about on the vlog, but this one I'm just turning on the camera and trusting that whatever's gonna come through is, is meant to come through. Been having some sleeping issues. I was up at 4 a.m. this morning and I didn't go back to sleep. And my dad also doesn't sleep through the night very often. So I'm wondering if that's like coming out of me, that's emerging. It's like this family pattern, at least I hope so. It's coming out so I don't have to continue dealing with it. But it was it was interesting just to lay in bed and I did a lot of reading, um, listen to music, listen to audiobook, watch the sunrise. But yeah, just realizing how emotional I got today when I was tired. I hit a wall at like, 4 p.m. I went to the Artist Way creative group uh, meetup with, with my friends here in Chiang Mai where we go through the Artist Way and do creative exercises and also hold space for each other if anybody needs um, to work through something or support in any way. And afterwards, I was just so tired, just like hit a wall. And I'm realizing that even though I'm not facing the same challenges of the chronic pain that I used to, um, the migraines haven't been coming. The headaches are less severe, less frequent. I'm super grateful for that. But I'm also noticing that a part of me had kind of created this story that like, all right, I'm, I'm a victim of these headaches and of chronic pain. And once I get out, I'm never going to have to face any of these dark places ever again. And I'm realizing that not to be true. It's like you look at a normal person, a healthy being, and they still have struggles. They still have ups and downs. Some people have sleep issues or problems falling asleep. Some people get stressed. Others deal with depression. Some people deal with anxiety, insomnia, which is another way of saying sleep. <laughs> but it was, it was this kind of realization that like, hey, this is life. And there's this great appreciation, like I've got the tools for this. I, I've got the tools to handle whatever life gives me. And it was just this like pure gratitude for all the pain, all the dark places I've been through. And and I had a, a headache this morning at 4 a.m. So I couldn't sleep and I didn't feel well, I had a headache. And so even though, as I said in my last vlog, I talked about the two-year migraine and how like I... I set the intention from now on to stop saying like. So in the last vlog, I mentioned the two, two year migraine and how I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to bury this and, and move forward. But at the same time, realize that pain is a part of life. My basketball coach, Ken Novak Jr., throwback Hopkins Hopkins basketball I was a state champion actually and like some of my friends are playing professionally overseas and we were we were really good but he used to say talk about blocks getting blocked so if you're not familiar with basketball you know you get rejected someone tries to shoot the other guy swats it away it's this big deal you know no mo no no mu tombo and, and all these things and he used to say it's a part of the game if it wasn't a part of the game then maybe there'd be judgment or shame about it but like don't be afraid of getting blocked. It's it's a stat category. It's there for a reason. And I think pain is the same way. It's a part of the game. The game of life. Talked about that again in a previous vlog. How life is just a game. So just accepting that. And also the moral of today's story is. Sometimes. The most powerful. Healing. Modality. Is taking a nap. <laughs> seriously it's so simple I laid down crashed for like an hour and a half woke up feeling so much better so thankful that I can take a mat nap that I had the willpower to say hey I'm gonna go home and go to sleep because the bike wouldn't start June and I were gonna go grocery shopping and then I was waiting around with her and the bike wouldn't start and I was just like All right, I'm gonna go home take a nap you can go to the grocery store by yourself and so she did 
but then she woke me up an hour or two later and I felt great. So that's where I'm at now. Um, other exciting news, June and I got our Brazil visas, which is super pumped. Super exciting, guys. I'm so pumped. So we're going to Rio in February, um, hosting this digital detox camp, which is going to be awesome if you're around in Brazil. And then I think we're going to go to uh, Circle, uh, an ayahuasca ceremony in Brazil. That's where the medicine comes from, and I'm really interested in learning more about it and sitting with this shaman who's a musician. So I'm really excited about that. But also, we got our visa. That was huge. That was yesterday. It was June's birthday. And it's the best birthday present. She was Viet She's Vietnamese, and she applied for a, a U.S. visa about a year and a half ago when I was in the U.S. dealing with chronic pain. I was super sick. Wasn't in a great place. Living with my parents. And I missed June so much. We spent six months apart. It was really hard. And she applied for a visa to come visit and got denied. And so I just noticed how, how conditioned I am based on the past experience because there's this part of me that was just so scared that was assuming, oh, she's not going to get this visa. There's so much doubt. This fear that she's not going to be able to travel the world with me or ever come to the U.S. And just getting this news that, hey, she got a Brazilian visa is such a breath of fresh air. It's so exciting. And I was just noticing how my thoughts were creating this story. And now I feel like I can move move past that. And it also is uh, inspiring for me to dig deeper into my other thoughts. Where am I holding myself back? Where am I attracting negativity or attracting things that I don't want to happen? And I'm not sure at this point the best way to work with those. I really like Byron Katie's The Work. And that is taking taking a thought. For example, for this case, it would be June's visa isn't going to allow her to travel with me around the world. That's the thought, the belief I had. The first question, is it true? No. Second question, can I prove that it's true? No. Third question, how do I feel when I think this thought? I felt scared. I felt like life was unfair. As if I fell in love with this beautiful Vietnamese girl who isn't able to travel the world with me. I felt horrible. I felt sad. And the fourth one is, who am, who would I be without that thought? And that's where I'm at now. Without that thought, it's like looking at this beautiful opportunity. I feel like the world's our oyster. I was telling her, where else do you want to go? Do you want to stay in Brazil the whole time? Do you want to see if we can go to Peru, Colombia, Costa Rica, Argentina, Chile? Like, I felt all this excitement of all these opportunities of what's possible. Where before, I wouldn't let myself go there because there's this fear, this doubt. Oh, what if I get too excited and then I get let down again like the last time? So that's super cool. So Byron Katie's work, those four questions. Simple, but very, very powerful. Guys, remember, simplest, most powerful healing modality. Sleep. We all do it every day. Simple is sacred. I'm telling you. Simple is, is very powerful. And then there's another addition to the Byron Katie work that I like. It's called turning it around. So if the belief is I'm scared that June's visa won't let her travel the world with me, the turnaround would be June's scared that her visa won't let her travel the world with me. Or I'm scared that my visa won't let me travel around the world with her. Or she's scared that my visa won't let me travel with her. And those aren't the best examples for turnarounds, but all so often it helps to, to put that perspective. For example, if it's like a, a family issue or I hate this person, then you can turn it, back, turn it around, I hate myself. This person hates themselves. This person hates me. And oftentimes just contemplating on those thought patterns can really be a beautiful way to change the perspective on it. Because a lot of times I notice with myself, the thoughts arise, the thoughts come. But it's not like I, I beat up the thought. It's not like I get rid of it or it goes anywhere. I just simply change my perspective on the thought. And that's where the healing happens. That's where I'm able to release and move through it. And that's where I'm able to see, wow, I was holding myself back. And there's a shift in energy in that moment. When she got we got our visas, I was like, it's happening. It's real. All these fears were just like 
exposed into the sunlight and I was just like ha ha you've been there all along peace out and then I was like doing the disco dance dun 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 we're going to Brazil bora Brasil me up all right so super excited for Brazil if you know anybody who's looking to to have fun in the mountains and hang out with us it's going to be a lot of innovative people a lot of entrepreneurs Lots of a really cool down to earth people are gonna be doing yoga, meditation, lots of cool stuff. Digital Detox Camp Brazil. There's a link in the description. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. I think it's cool that I was able to share Byron Katie because that's something that's been really powerful for me. And I've read so many books and learned so many spiritual teachings and been to so many retreats and plant medicine ceremonies, but it's so humbling for me to just discover a book that is new and so powerful and it's just a reminder how much more there is to learn there's so many things i haven't explored so many ideas and concepts that i don't even know exist and until like a month ago the byron katie the work was something i just i was like ah oh, i'm sure i get it they're all the same <laughs> and going through it and realizing that's another powerful tool i can use is great so the book i'm reading or listening to an audiobook is called a mind at home with itself or maybe a mind alone with itself I think at home and my my coach Joshua recommended to me and it's amazing it's money so the work by and Katie is legit and I'm really grateful super grateful but I think I'm gonna get to sleep soon so thank you for watching namaste um, blessings Peace and love all over the land. Love is the way. Love will take you all the way. And love is here to stay. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you for watching.